What's up, film family? Thank you so much for stopping into my YouTube channel today. I know you're probably at home trying to stay away from the coronavirus like me, but I really appreciate... It's way too hot in there. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for stopping into my YouTube channel today. As I said in the video before this one, this is going to be What's in My Camera Bag 2020. So let's jump into it guys. The number one thing in my camera bag, actually it has its own bag, it's got its own case, is the Ronin M. It's just amazing. I picked it over the Ronin S because I think one, it, it, it looks more professional with two hands. Um, I can attach a monitor to the top, no problem, a microphone to the top, no problem, and it doesn't mess with the weight distribution. I really like that about it. One thing I hate about it is I do not like the intelligent batteries. They're terrible. They will either die and never be ever, ever, ever be able to get charged again, or they won't connect to the Ronin very correctly, or they won't sync up with your phone. There's not always an issue, but a lot of times there is, and it's just not the best thing to happen when you're on set with a client. So what I love to do is I love to bring my glide cam with me. I have it on the side of my bag or in my trunk of my car. So that way, if anything happens with the Ronin M, God forbid one of the batteries doesn't work, or if it's not syncing up to my phone, I could just go into my trunk or grab my glide cam off the side of the bag. There's no batteries, no components. You just throw it on, throw on the weights, make sure that it is distributed with the weight and balanced and just go. So I would say that the glide cam would also be tied with number one, just because if anything happens with the Ronin M, which is my go-to, my number one, my favorite, I can always switch back to the glide cam because it's mechanical, there's no batteries, and it's easy, op easily operated. Easily operatable? Operatable. Ronin M. Um, another cool thing about the Ronin M before we switch to number two is that it comes in this insanely big Pelican case. It's really cool. It actually also has this super cool uh, controller, which... Uh, what it does is it controls the Ronin M from far away. So if you have another guy on set who has his own monitor, he can control your Ronin M while you're chasing somebody down the street like a madman and you can't control what you're doing because you're just trying to not shake the camera. All right, number two on the list is going to be the Canon 80D. I bought the Canon 80D because unfortunately when I was a photographer, I shot on the Canon 5D Mark II, but it broke and I couldn't get it fixed. It was a sensor issue and it was just a very expensive issue to have. So I went out and I bought the Canon 80D with the intention of vlogging. So all last year, that's what I used. Actually, I think the year before last year is what I used the Canon 80D. Loved it, it was great. Now it's my backup camera. My number one camera though is number three on the list and that will be the Canon 6D Mark II. That is my main shooter. That is what I use all of the time unless I pull out the Canon 80D, which I use for macro shots. Now, what do I mean by macro shots? Macro shots brings us to number four on our list. I use the macro 100 millimeter. It's a 2.8 L series. It is my, it's not my favorite lens, but when I was a, a photographer, that was my go-to lens. I would use it for headshots, high fashion shots, portrait, pretty much everything. Uh, it was super, super crisp, super sharp. Now I use it on the ADD to crop it to like 125 or whatever that would be with a crop sensor on it. So that way I can get really, really tight, really macro shots when I'm shooting film. And that way I don't have to take the 6D Mark II off of the Ronin M or the Glycam or whatever it's on. <laughs> Number five. Number five is going to be a lens. It is the 24 to 105. I just have this on my uh, on my ADD, but it's the 24 to 105 uh, f4. I don't love that it's f4, but I do love that it is is, and so is the last lens that I was talking about. They're both image. They both have image stabilization, which is a huge deal for me because uh, I shoot a lot of handheld stuff. Um, yeah, it also has. I think it has some type of facial detection or something. I'm not even sure about that, but. 
That was my first L series lens and I still have it. It's been through everything, you guys. Uh, this one time my ex threw her keys in my bag. This is before I could afford a camera bag. It was just like a backpack. And uh, I had uh, I had put a sock over top of the lens because that's I was poor, I don't know. And uh, the keys actually scratched up the element quite a bit, but uh, you can't ever tell in, uh, in the image. So, I mean, I'm not mad about that. And also uh, we were shooting on the beach one year and I got sand in the uh, in the ring here, so now it like it's not a smooth transition from. Doesn't matter. Um, that's it for lenses. I do have a 50 millimeter. Uh, I don't really use it anymore, so I didn't want to put it in the video. Also, I use this lens quite a bit, but it's not mine, so I don't feel justified putting it in here. It is. Uh, you guys have met Cameron on the channel before. He lent me his um, 16 to 35 millimeter uh, 2.8 L. USM version 2 and uh, I use that quite a bit. I love it The only thing that I would say is not the best uh, is the autofocus isn't amazing And it doesn't have image stabilization, which you guys know is a big deal for me. Let's talk storage I'm gonna try to be very careful because it is connected to my computer. I use these uh, Lacy's the reason I call them Lacy instead of Lacy like everyone else is because I've played Final Fantasy 13 And it's spelled the same way as Lacy was in Final Fantasy 13 I think so I just call them Lacy's but yeah, so I buy uh, one two terabyte every year, put a piece of tape on it, say this one's 2018, 2019, then I throw it in a drawer and never touch it again until a client's like, oh my god, I need that footage from last year, do you still have it? And I'll be like, yeah, it's 50 bucks to pull it out, is that okay? And they'll be like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. I'll be like, well, then don't lose the footage. They'll be like, oh, I guess that's fair. And I'm like, all right, cool, 50 bucks in my hand. Thank you. And then I go in that drawer and I'm like, all right, I shot this in 2018, pull it out, give them their footage, and Bob's your uncle. I don't know. Let's talk lighting. All right, so I have a beautiful, it's a, uh, it's actually newer, believe it or not. Not like, it's not new as in like, it's new to me, but it's like the company N-E-E-W-E-R, newer. Yeah, I don't know, uh, but it's pretty solid. Actually, like for only being like 80 bucks, I use it all the time. Usually I'll like bounce it off of a wall or a ceiling and then you can throw those gels in it, make it whatever color you want. And then it also has a hue in it in itself. So. I think it's a pretty solid purchase. Uh, also can take batteries on the back, um, like any monitor battery. I don't know what they're actually called. Sue me. That's everything in my bag, you guys. That's all that I have. Um, that is my entire life. Um, one time, I have a cool story. One time I bought this, uh, I was at this event and I had realized uh, I was shooting and every other photographer there, nobody had a light. And I was like, I wanna prove that I'm the best photographer here. And this was like, I think my first year here in Chicago where I never shot events before. I was on Facebook Marketplace and I found this on Facebook Marketplace for, somebody had it on there for 20 bucks. And I was like, look, if you bring this to me right now, I'll pay you 25 bucks. And then they were like, we'll do it. And then they drove, they gave me this, it's manual. There's no, there's no like auto on it. It's like 100% manual. And they brought it to me at the event that I was at. I threw it on, popped this up and I just started shooting. And uh, I was, the best photographer there because my images were super dope compared to everybody else's because they didn't have flash but anyway there's that story and that's everything in my camera bag thank you guys so much for stopping in and saying what's up and washing your hands and all that good stuff um i actually do have to go buy um lysol so i want to say thank you so much like subscribe please if you haven't already Please leave a comment in the comment section below. I don't care what it is. You can just put cough, cough, cough. That's cool. I'll probably hope that you're having a good day and that you're not actually sick. I don't know. Um, hit the bell if you guys want notifications to see when my next video comes out because I don't even know what it's going to be about. But I have to go get Lysol. So I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Peace out. Hey. So. I know that some of you guys are gonna ask me, hey crew, how did you like this? And well, I'm gonna show you right now. So first of all, we use this Alien B light here on this Photodyx softbox. Then I have this glass table here with a hoodie underneath it with the camera on top of it. And the back, we just hung up a sheet and then over there i just have a red lamp shooting out red this so when the lights are turned off it looks a little bit more like this 
which is kind of just what we were going for.